Dr. Lady Perry, Dr. John, Canadian and American Department. Canadian and American, Dr. Lady Perry. Pew pew, pew pew, Inspector Dodge and I are ready to save the day. And then a dark voice rang out. Dodge and I, get off your phone, I'm taking away for three days. Okay, this was my most hated night every single night. But let me ask you a question. Ladies and gentlemen, have any of y'all had a device before days of seven? Or change your phone every once in a while? Or, to my personal face, break your phone in anger after using it? I know if I ever did that, my dad was kicking me for the day I died. Let me elaborate further. I didn't really get a device at a very young age. My parents weren't as merciful and lenient as many other parents. They weren't real Asian parents. I could always recall seeing my friends play games, text each other, and so on. I had to beg my parents to get me a phone. And finally, after much frustration, they finally got a phone. But it did not come to me that easy. Nothing comes easy in an Asian family. I know y'all can relate to this. You know how they say that there's always a silver lining? But let's talk about time limits. The ones that make you groan every single time you want to show it. It's tough or it's salty. From a kid's perspective, it's annoying, right? But maybe there's more to it than we think. Sure, you teach it just to be responsible, not to addict yourself, clean, blah, blah, blah. But I need to be real. Who wants to live on fun? But hey, maybe it's a blessing in disguise, pushing us to try new things behind our textbook screen. It's truly amazing how technology has changed, mentally and physically. It really had a big impact on my life. How? I'm now just more alert and more focused on my daily things. So thank you to my parents for setting up time limits and bringing me up in a way where I'm not spoiled, bratty, or ungrateful. Because at the end of the day, time lies within discipline and time frame. Thank you.